Hello, good morning, and welcome to Devotions for English Lutheran Church on this Tuesday, January 26th. Pastor Becky is here, and she is going to share with us a word on God, our rock of hope. So thank you for being here, Pastor Becky. And we're going to start with scripture from Psalm chapter 62, verses 5 through 8. For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from God. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor, my mighty rock. My refuge is in God. Trust in God at all times. O people, pour out your hearts before God. God is a refuge for us. Thank you, Kristen. This past week has been a trying one for me. Perhaps it's a culmination of 10 months of dealing with all the COVID stuff. Plus, uh, my dad was hospitalized uh, for COVID-19 and trying to juggle that with my two sisters and an extended family from afar to work on his care has been, has been trying to say the least. But I know that many of you have also been experiencing many trials and tribulations during this time. That's why I wanted to share with you Psalm 62 um, because we heard it this past Sunday, and I just found so much comfort in it as it teaches and proclaims to us of who God is and that God cares for us, each and every one of us. So when we read Psalm 62 in its entirety, it is both a psalm of lament and a psalm of trust, uh, seeking hope in God. And there is one phrase that is repeated um, at least twice in this psalm, and it's, and it's called, For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from God. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. So there are three words used to define God, one as rock, salvation, and fortress. And today I want to look at God as the rock. Now, dozens of times throughout the Bible, you will hear God referred to as the rock. And there are songs about God as our rock and our firm foundation. And having God, our rock, be firm and sure is important to us. And I don't know about you, but it gives me great hope. Now, I'm not a geologist, but I know that rocks are made of several different things, including things like sand, dirt, water, and sometimes even air. But despite those seemingly tiny particles that rock is made of, it is very firm. Now, I grew up on a farm in northern Iowa. And those of you who know about the glaciers, this is where the glaciers from many, many millennia ago dumped all their rocks. So as a kid, we had to go out and gather the rocks, pick up the rocks, so they wouldn't go through our agricultural equipment like combines. And I remember I did not like it. Okay, I hated it. I didn't like going out and picking up rock. But today, when I travel to different places, one of the first things I do is I find rocks. I especially like finding rocks along watery shores, like along the Great Lakes or along different beaches around lakes. And these rocks, um, whether they're ones I found or even in my cross that I oftentimes wear for church, these stones that are in there remind me of God's firm foundation that God is my rock and that my hope rests in God alone, his love and his grace. So I keep all these small rocks. I sometimes wear them, but I'm not encouraging any of you to go out and collect rocks. It's, you know, they kind of take up space. But where is your touchstone? Where is it that you find hope when you are struggling? What reminds you that God is your rock and your salvation and your fortress. Kristen, would you lead us in prayer? Yes. Loving God, in the midst that all we are facing today, quiet our thoughts and help us to set our minds and hearts only on you, the one in whom lies all our hope. For you alone are our rock and our salvation, our fortress who will not be shaken. Amen. May God, who is our rock and fortress and our salvation, comfort you and guide you today and always. Amen. <laughs>